Good morning guys, so I'm currently out at Jaredell. So this is Kitty's Gorge. I'm standing at the top here at Jaredell Cemetery. I'm following the green line and it's going to take me all the way to Serpentine Falls. According to the signs, it should take me five hours to walk there and back, but based on my speed, it's probably going to take me about seven to eight because I like to stop and look at things. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. Let's see how I go. First obstacle. <laughs> I did this trail probably two years ago and I do remember even back then there was a lot of fallen trees. I tend to be talking to you guys but looking off to the side a lot. It's next season so I'm just keeping an eye out. Sometimes it's a bit weird when you're walking along and you can hear a little rustle and you're like is it a lizard or a snake? So this trail actually follows a brook that takes us all the way to Serpentine and I can only just starting to hear the water now. It sounds like we're not far. Here I come out to my first river crossing. And then we head up the hill that way. Not very often you see a balga that high. <laughs> this thing is <laughs> huge. People ask me why I would go walking out in the bush this far, but I love it. This area is just stunning. We've got gigantic jerry trees creating this beautiful forest, and then walking in the valley under the canopy, you're filled with all these ferns, wildlife, the trickling streams. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, this is a long hike, but it's an odd way of meditating. Yes, I get it. <laughs> Okay, I understand now why people think I'm crazy, but it is a really nice way to just break away, to get away from the hustle and bustle, get out into nature and feel absolutely grounded. Yep, this is my version of meditation. <laughs>
So it looks like there was a bridge here. Let's have a look. It's a bit worn out. Wait, I've seen this place before. I remember a long time ago, I seen on Instagram, someone was so lucky and they saw an echidna crossing this little plank. No echidnas out today though. Let's keep going. Yeah, but it's probably because I'm out here on a Monday. Not too many people are at these trails on a Monday. when there's so many reeds and it is so close together. I'm just hoping there's no snakes. Are they cherry blossoms? Bit of a random spot to find cherry blossom trees. They're very white though, but they look like cherry blossoms. Do cherry blossoms come in white? I've only seen them in pink. There's so many different like types of plants and there's lots of wildflowers at this season. But the thing is, is that I don't know what's, like I don't know all of them that are wild and what are weeds. Some of them may not be like endemic to Western Australia. All that kind of stuff. Some people are like really funny about things that are not from WA, shouldn't be in WA, but. I'm just like, if it's an Australian flower, an Australian flower. <laughs> wondering on time it took me an hour and 15 to walk here and that is with stopping and taking photos so not bad but we're only halfway through the second time
was going to be lucky enough to have this waterfall all by myself. Okay. Alright, let's get back to it. So we're currently at 11.30. So I probably did about maybe like a 20 minute stop here. So where exactly am I? So this trail called Kitty's Gorge Walk Trail starts at Jaradal up near the cemetery and actually follows the Guralong Brook all the way down to Serpentine Falls. So it's classified as a relatively difficult trail, which yes, they're not 100% wrong because it is about 14 kilometers as you're walking one direction there and then having to turn around and go back if you're doing the whole trail on your own. But I would say even though it's challenging, I would say it's also extremely peaceful and great fun.
check out what I found just off of the trail. Some donkeys. So these are little donkey orchids and they're endemic to here in Western Australia. stopped on the trail I think I just come across silkworms check this out I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom in because it's so tiny let's see can you see it looks like a spider's web I'm not catching it on camera at all <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good spot. It was just when these other trail walkers actually came around the corner as well. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. We were all kind of having a conversation. We're like, is it worms? Silkworms? Is it some kind of fungus? But they were going up into the tree. So. Has anyone ever seen that before? Because that is weird. Oh, it's a bit muddy around here. So this part of the trail obviously comes up to the back of this fence. I'm not actually sure if it's someone's private property as in like someone's home or it's just owned by the state government, but the trail takes us closer to the river. Oh, here you go. It says this trail passes close to a private property for the next one kilometer. Please respect the rights and privacy to the owners as you walk. So it obviously is someone's private land. There's a very loud banjo frog in there. down here at the moment but because I'm going to be walking back I'll go check out the water on the way back here. Let's keep going. So 
So this part of the trail actually comes pretty close to the pipeline. I can just stay down there. That's where the dam is. So I need to keep following this trail so it loops me around. I think it's been about another K since I filmed that last little clip. So we've now done our first little whoop on the little zigzag and we're making it through to Serpentine Falls. I'm actually heading to a parking lot first. So technically, yes, I could have driven here, but I've just saved 15 bucks on parking. National park fees. <laughs> and for those that are wondering on time, it's currently five to one. And remember, I did that half an hour break as well. So, two and a half hours. Matt and I have this dream of traveling around Australia. And we'd love to do it in something like this. So I think once upon a time the trail used to actually finish along this bridge here. But they've closed it for safety reasons. I have that really excited feeling at the moment. It's like that sense of achievement that I've made it to Serpentine Falls. that you can do it if you come with a friend unfortunately I'm doing this one by myself you can have a friend park at Serpentine Falls and then you can drive up to Jaredale Cemetery and park another car there and then walk to here and then obviously just grab your car before five o'clock this Serpentine because the gates do close at five and then you can drive all the way back but I'm doing it twice because I need to walk back to my car as I'm doing it by myself there is a mum Duckling. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh. 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 I almost stood on it, but it's a baby. Oh. It was so small. Now every time I hear a sound, I'm gonna think it's a big snake, even though that was a baby. Babies can be dangerous though, because my partner was explaining to me something about they're so young they don't understand how to let go, so they keep biting or something. Someone who knows about snakes is gonna have to tell me. Okay, so I've left the area. I'm back on the trail. So it's currently two o'clock. Let's see how I go. I probably won't film as much because there's no point filming everything the same on their way there and back, but there is that little waterhole thing that I walked past before. So we'll go through that on the way back. Okay, up the hill now. 
and on Snake Watch. trees along that little section and if I have any idea of what they were saying in English I'm assuming they're saying human alert human alert because those little shits are picking honky nuts out of the trees and throwing them at me so we're back to Spencer's mud cottage and we have about 75% of the trowel to go really bouncy I'd love to know how old this bridge is and when it fell apart I just think that would be really interesting to know I'm definitely starting to feel really hot now I think that cool off I did is officially over Here. and I've noticed something right there I'm guessing the trail like she used to go up through there oh my gosh I can see in the distance pink I bet you they're more everlasting flowers <laughs> but we're following this one the trail goes this way I actually did this trail a few years ago and I remember when I was walking through this section suddenly I heard this huge crack and then one of the pine trees actually collapsed so let's hope it doesn't do that now a bit muddy right there
Cheese gorge done. I've finally made it back to the car. Whew. Okay, so it is 4.35 for time. So I started at 10 o'clock this morning. I stopped at that Kitty's Falls for half an hour and then I stopped at Serpentine Falls for one hour. So that just gives you a bit of an idea. I also do walk slow. I'm not a very fast walker, but I did it. Yes. I hope you enjoyed that one because I certainly did. I hope you come. Tell me what hikes you like to go on and I'll catch you next time. Bye. I'm very sweaty now.